right now I wanted to take a chance to highlight some of my personal favorite Dreamcast games and implore you to maybe check them out. Number one and two, of course, are Project Justice and Garu, Mark of the Wolves. But you can go back to the fighting game podcast last week to learn about those. Let's talk about some of the weird games that we got to have on the Sega Dreamcast. Um, C-Man, hosted by Leonard Nimoy, and was some sort of strange existential Tamagotchi, uh, created by Yute Saito, one of my favorite game developers, even though the only games he's made are C-Man and the GameCube game Odama, which is a military strategy pinball game. And when the only games you create are about a living fish man and strategic military pinball, you're a pretty damn good developer, if you ask me. Of course, I got a lot of love for Space Channel 5. I always love rhythm games and the simplicity of up, up, down, down, shoot, shoot, mixed with the fantastic music and the incredible, colorful aesthetic. Between Space Channel 5 and Jet set radio, I learned to forever believe that 3D games can have unbelievable and brilliant artistic value. Unfortunately, after the Dreamcast died, we got nothing but browns and grays and realistic 3D graphics for like the next 10 years. Of course, not only was the Dreamcast home to some great fighting games, but for all you retro lovers, it also has some unbelievable shoot 'em ups as well and you can't mention shoot 'em ups without mentioning the king of Dreamcast shoot 'em ups, it's a uh, with its flip flop gameplay mechanics and intense bullet hell action. That is definitely a Sega Dreamcast topic.